I used to walk to school some days, you know, grew up pretty poor, so I didn't have that nickel for the bus. And, uh, and I would imagine martial art films in my head as I walked. And uh, I got a ton of them, actually, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so The Man with the Iron Fist is one of them, you know, or accumulation of some ideas messed together. Um, and, uh, and my buddy Eli Roth, who's a great writer, um, he had read my um, original draft, maybe about 90 pages. And uh, he, you know, he dug it, but he also saw how to make it better. And we got together and we spent maybe a year just, you know, re restructuring it and re honing it. And we came with the present one that's, is, um, that we see on the film now. Yeah, uh, it's a blessing to have such great talent um, involved with the project. I like to call this an artist share project. You know, we have, you know, uh, the great mind of Quinn Tarantino as the godfather of the project, you know. Eli Roth, you know, my buddy who helped me pin it to, to, to fascination level. Um, great actors, one of the best actors in the world living, you know, Russell Crowe. The Man with the Iron Fist is, is a world, you know. Um, he's one character, but, you know, it's, it's, it's really based on many different characters coming together to this one location, Jungle Village. My idea was to make a universe, you know, that, that the audience could lose themselves in. You know, have some great accents, some great characters, and just, you know, get your popcorn and lose yourself. We actually hired Greg Nicotero and his team to come on board to do our, uh, our special makeup effects. And those guys do Walking Dead. I met them on a set of uh, Death Proof, I think. And I, I just loved the work they did, and they worked with Eli on Hostel. And so um, we brought them on board, and we are not shy about our gore. It took us about eight, minutes, eight, eight months to write the music for the film, so it took a, another toll of energy. Um, but uh, it was fun again. It was fun. I mean, I've scored other people's films. Um, I got a great guy to help me out, Howard Drossen. We worked on about four or five projects together. And uh, we went in and made a film, I mean, a score that complements the film and complements the genre of where I'm coming from. As far as the fighting styles, I was real meticulous about that um, because the fight fatigue happens in a lot of films, even if you're a fan of it sometimes, you know? Um, so I try to make each fight scene have a, a twist of his own, you know. 